Six at five, we're working that developing news in New Bedford. A man is dead following a shooting, and police say his killer is still at large right now. Police had a home surrounded for hours earlier, thinking the suspect may have been holed up inside. Let's get right to Iowa to Sue's reporter, Steph Machado, live in New Bedford with the developing details. Mike and Shannon, Matthew Street is still blocked off by police tape here in the city of New Bedford, where police say a homicide took place earlier this morning around 11, and police are still on the hunt for the suspect who lives in a home about half a block away from where we are right now. Now, New Bedford police say they got to the scene of the shooting quickly, and they did believe the suspect was inside the home. Based on witness statements, the SWAT team set up a perimeter, and for several hours, police were outside this home, guns drawn. One officer was even in the cemetery across the street with his rifle pointed at the house. Eventually, the SWAT team went in the house just before 3 p.m. and searched it. We did not locate anyone in that residence. Uh, so the suspect is still at large. Uh, however, we did uh, recover a uh, firearm. Uh, I cannot confirm at this time that that firearm was, in fact, the firearm that was used in the fatal shooting. So the hunt continues for this suspect. Police say he could be armed and dangerous. Both police and the DA's office have declined to name the suspect. They're also not yet naming the homicide victim in this case. They say he's a 20-year-old man. We will have more on that homicide investigation coming up new at 6. Live in New Bedford with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. We begin tonight with developing news we've been on top of all day long. Right now, police continue searching for the suspect in a deadly shooting in New Bedford. The tense investigation began around 11 o'clock this morning after a 20-year-old was shot multiple times and killed at the corner of Bank and Matthew Streets in New Bedford. At one point, a SWAT team thought they had the suspect surrounded at his home, but tonight he remains on the loose. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live from New Bedford with the developing details. Well, police still are on the scene of this murder where police say the suspect actually lives within this section of Matthew Street, cordoned off by police tape as authorities search for him. New Bedford police and its SWAT team surrounding a home on Matthew Street for hours, guns drawn. It's where Lieutenant Amos Mello says a murder suspect lives. They thought he was inside. We were here relatively quick, uh, so we were on scene right away. Uh, witness statements all pointed into that direction, into that house. Police say the suspect shot and killed a 20-year-old man outside on the corner of Matthew and Bank Streets right near the home at 11 a.m. They formed a perimeter, calling out for the suspect to come out. Guns drawn, one officer even in the cemetery across the street with his rifle pointed at the home. Eventually, the team went in, entering the home and searching it. The suspect was not there. We did not locate anyone in that residence. Uh, so the suspect is still at large. Police say they did find a gun inside. I cannot confirm at this time that that firearm was in fact the firearm that was used in the fatal shooting. Now the hunt continues for the suspect who is known to police and now on the run. We got to uh, assume that he's still uh, armed and dangerous. And police are still investigating what connection there is, if any, between the suspect and the murder victim in this case. They are still investigating also whether any drug or gang activity is involved. And police have not yet released the names of either of those two men. Live in New Bedford with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.